Hello there everybody, my name's Tom and I'm from alamex.net and I today I'm going to be showing you how to use the M10 Autobayer which Alex created. So I've already got it all set up inside this nice little neat folder here. So we've got a few .dat files and a bin file which you don't need to worry about and your main focus will be this program here. So if you just want to double click that then we can just open it up and it will say creating connection sockets. That will only take a few seconds and then we're going to get met by this nice little activation, auto by activation. You only need to do this once uh, with the newest version and with about three versions before this. But anything below that you'll have to put it in every now and again. So I've already got all my license key and my email here and Alexandra Marius of course is the guy who created it. So uh, thanks a lot to him for making this awesome program. Um, and if you are watching this but you haven't already bought the auto buyer, then I would suggest doing it uh, as it can make you a lot of coins which you can sell on or keep yourself and just have a good time playing FIFA, uh, well, FIFA Ultimate Team uh, for FIFA 13. So now we're going to be greeted with this password and security question answer. And the email here won't get changed even if you press and delete or whatever. You, you know that's that's the activation is valid for that only uh, for that email only, so it's not going to do anything. So I'm just going to enter the password in really quickly. Um, you can actually sign in through this without actually having to use the password. Uh, so if it is is if if you do get met by a message which says password is incorrect, then just come back here, log out, and it will probably be because of uh, your answers aren't correct there. Uh, so now it's just going to say, that, I mean this would be when you first open it up, but afterwards it would uh, already have the database, but now we have a thing called a license key, which is just that massive long, you know, numbers and letters what we had before, and we also have this thing called player DB. What that stands for is player database, and this is where it's going to store all your players in when you create them in the inventory. So if you click on this downward arrow here, you can click clear all which would just destroy the entire database or you can press this downward arrow and it will allow you to do add player, add contract, add, fis add fitness or create an inactive inventory. So I'm just going to go uh, add player for the purposes of this video and I'm just going to go Gomez who is a um, German striker for Bayern Munich and he's actually quite a good seller on PS3 I do have to say uh, and I'm just going to put him sell price 6000 and uh, buy price 4000 so you, as you can see down at the bottom that's a 1700 profit after EA's 5% tax uh, so in the details this is going to be your team and then this is going to be your nationality uh, so please don't get that confused because of course Rome uh, and uh, I believe there's a country called oh no no no, no, no. <laughs> never mind um, so if we type in Bayern Munich then we can, uh, that's where he plays for, and Gomez is also German. So his position is a striker, and this thing called page inquiry here is how far you want to go through the web app to try and find this player. So for example, if you're looking to find a Gomez in position 41212, then it can easily do that on the web app. So you're going to want to lower this to something like 2 or 3. But if it's something more complicated where a player is, you know, more out there, so maybe like a different price set or something like that, then you wanna gonna you're gonna wanna put that higher. Uh, especially if there's a large influx of the player on the market, then you wanna go further along the pages. For example, contracts, you wanna put that at four, which is the max you can go with it. So I'm just gonna leave that at about fifteen, uh, because that's just the default. Uh if there are more pages then it will go more pages uh, then it will stop sorry but if there are less pages then it will reset so it's it's pretty intelligent with that you can also see these formations here uh, in a lot of the auto buyers in FIFA 12 they weren't here so you're actually just buying random formations but with this auto buyer by Alex you can actually do this uh, so I'm just gonna click 4-1-2-1-2 the chance of getting a 4 one 2 one 2 Gomez at the price of 4,000 by now or less than 4,000 is incredibly small however there is a, a small chance and if you can get that small chance then there's you know it's always great so this card rating here is how much uh, how much like overall the player actually is and I know for a fact that Gomez is 87 but let's say you're actually doing somebody like Messi um, then who's actually a normally a 94 then if you're trying to buy his inform or team of the year then you can change his card rating to 98 
it's all going to stay in the same you know same team same country and etc because that just doesn't t uh, change uh, unless uh, ea changes it uh, and then the formation all stays the same so it's, it's a nice way of allowing you to do informs and team of the years without it being overly complicated so i'm just going to press add with that so we now have got a gold player uh, and it's going to show up in our auto buy in, in a sort of goldy brass color uh, rate uh, rating of 87 so overall rating of 87 it's going to show the buy price the sell price the position which is this P and the profit at a minimum um, so that's saying that if it buys at 4,000 which is the max it's going to buy then it's going to get 1,700 if it is if it's anything below that um, then it's going to be more of course so I'm also going to show you contracts and fitness today as well because they're slightly different to each other so if we're just going to go on contracts we can do contract staff or contract player and you can choose the level so I'm going to just go for the purposes of this video and for fitness as well I'm just going to put gold because that's what I usually trade in and I'm just going to put buy 200 sell price 400 because the last time I checked it was actually doing this well so that's going to show up on a profit on auto buyer and although it isn't included on uh, the contracts like it was on the players it is pretty useful when you see it on there but it's, it's a lot easier because you know your contracts aren't going to be 14,000 and then buy price 11,700 and then you got to work out 5% so you know it's a bit easier this card value here is how much the card is going to add uh, for the matches to the player so if you've ever applied a consumable in foot 13 then you're going to know that um, there's different values for different uh, different ratings, different levels of the card. So, for example, a gold, a normal gold, will add 11 to a bronze player, 11 matches to a silver player, and 13 matches to a gold player. So that's all that card value really is, and it allows you to go between the rare ones, so the shinier coloured ones, which would be for a gold 24, 24, and 28. For gold that you know and that allows you to differentiate between the two much like the inform of uh, uh, inform of like players uh, so the page inquiry only goes up to four on this because it's not going to be that much you know you're not going to find that many contracts at 200 so I'm just going to leave that at one because there's no point going over the top even though there is a uh, thing what stops it so now you can uh, also get the player and the team as well uh, so I'm just going to go fitness player, gold, buy price 200 and sell price 250 and of course fitnesses don't do as well as players do, I mean contracts do. So you can see here that it's going to have uh, your different amounts, so plus 20 fitness would be for a bronze, plus 40 would be for a silver and plus 60 would be for a gold. You're just going to click this 60 here or if you are trading in teams, um, in the team fitness so plus 10 for bronze plus 20 for silver and plus 30 for gold and you can also do that as well but you're gonna have to want to put it on fitness for team uh, and the page inquiry is just the same I'm now gonna go into settings and show you guys what you can do uh, in, inside the settings and one of the things you can do is log all the log to a file so save the log feed which is when you actually start the auto buyer and it sells you tells you when you bought something and sold something um, so you can save it to a file inside that folder which is here so it's just gonna show you um, what you've been buying and selling well and what you haven't been buying and selling well so you can alter your database the sleep time here is how many milliseconds the bot will sleep um, so that's gonna be one second long and it's just between the auctions when it searches the auction uh, auctions it's gonna wait that long to sort of make you look more human uh, make you you know look to EA more human so you won't get banned so the higher you set that the less chance you're gonna get banned but a thousand for contracts oh, not ten a thousand for contracts is definitely fine and 500 for players is also okay but any if you if you like let's say it's peak times and you want to trade in contracts then I advise that you put that up to something like 1500 to 2000 or even higher if you're that paranoid don't buy is another feature as well this one also works um, it will allow you to relist and clear sold items so let's say you've already got a trade pile full of contracts what you bought the night before because it was all really cheap contracts are now selling at 700 by now in a minute well what you're gonna wanna do is click this don't buy it's not gonna buy anything but what it is gonna do is it's gonna sell at the price you've set inside your inventory which is 
400 up on this this example it's 400 mm -hmm. so that's really it guys um and then just to start it off you just want to gonna press start and then it's gonna say idle waiting user connect at action it's gonna tell you the time and this is your log feed as well it's gonna show you how many players you have in your database and how many consumables you have in it and you're just gonna want to press connect now it's going to say invalid email or password due to putting in the wrong password which was just a load of asterisks. Uh, so that's really it guys and it would actually show you how many items you've bought, how many you've sold, how many you've listed and also the amount of coins you have and your uh, account name down there. So that's it basically um, and please watch part 2 as well because we're going to show you some more other cool features and we're going to show you what actually the auto buyer does and how well it sells etc so thanks for watching this guys and hope you enjoyed it hope that it informed you in some way shape or form and i'll see you in the next video